a special thank you to the sponsor of this video, Avionics Source, where you can buy the Avionics iFly. Fuel. We're starting on the right tank and then we'll switch to the left, make sure both tanks work. Beacon is on, gas lock is removed, cow flaps are open, trim is three up. Here's my trim wheel. Also have electric trim on the yoke. Okay. Um, landing gear switch is down, circuit breakers are in, avionics autopilot off, emergency gear crank is free. That's behind me is a hand crank for the gear. Propeller high, prop, <laughs> throttle open, mixture rich. <laughs> I did not add fuel, we got over 60 gallons or even more than I thought. No, I'm priming till I get a fuel peak. There we go. Clear prop! Alright, we got current databases. Alright, let's taxi to the west ramp. And get the Aidas along the way. Sway Alpha closed between Echo and Alpha Niner. Hazardous weather information for I-1 surrounding areas available on flight service frequencies. ILS approach runway 270. You to advise on initial contact you have with Cedar Rapids Airport information with Key. Clear right, clear left. Time 1424 Zulu. Wind 330 at 7, visibility 10, ceiling 1000 broken. 1700 overcast. Temperature 19 or 2.18, altimeter 29 or 9 or 1. Notice the airman taxiway Alpha 7 and Alpha Temperature 8 closed. Taxiway Alpha closed between Echo and Alpha 9 -er. Hazardous weather information for I-1 surrounding areas available on flight service frequencies. ILS approach runway 270. You advise on initial contact you have whiskey. Alright, whiskey. I can't quite tell where the construction begins, so we'll, we'll see we need a back taxi or uh, taxi on Alpha, maybe to the intersection of the runways. Yeah, uh, so at one time that hole all the way, three was closed. Okay, we're going to KMSN, activate flight plan, 55 degrees, that seems to check. I assume we'll get uh, heading 290 on departure. Okay, let me get the clearance here, and uh, by then we'll be warm enough for run-up. That was information whiskey, right? Whiskey. Nope. See, there was clearance. Good morning, Bonanza 7, Zero Tango Bravo. Information whiskey, IFR to Madison. Bonanza 7, Zero Tango Bravo, Cedar Rapids clearance. Clear to the Madison Airport is filed. Maintain 5,000, expect 9,000, one zero minutes after departure. Departure frequency 119.7, squad 5367. Bonanza 7, Tango Bravo, clear to the Madison Airport as fire plank maintain 5,000, expect 9,000, one zero minutes after departure. 119.7, squad 5367. Bonanza 7, zero Tango Bravo, read back right. Okay, uh, oil is in the 90s, so because we're not going to go all the way the run up head, I'll do the run up here. Okay. Run up, brakes are set, fuel. I'll switch to the left tank now. Make sure we get fuel from both. Flight controls are free and correct. Makes your best power. Needles left, EGTs go up, RPM goes down, right, same picture, propeller, low temperature and pressure are good, instrument air is good, ammeter is good, everything is green, throttle idle check, pre takeoff, mixture is best power, prop is high, trim is a three up. Cow flaps are open, flaps are up for departure in this plane. Pedal pump is off, pedal heat will turn on. Blue Street 5214, Sierra Rapids, power runway 27, wind 340 at 9, I'll clear to land. Or closed window I'll leave open for now. Transponder is uh, remote. See, lights on the runway. Okay, so we got ground and tower here, we got departure up there. We're direct Madison Airport. We're ready for taxi. 
Sea Rabbit's ground. Bonanza 7, Zero Tango Bravo, West Ram with Whiskey ready for taxi. Uh, we'd like to use a little more runway than Alpha 6 here. Uh, 27 from the intersection with 1, 3 would work or, or longer if possible. Bonanza 7, Zero Tango Bravo. Uh, I can get you a back taxi on a runway 27, uh, but it'll be a minute. I do have the aircraft inbound runway 27. Uh, so, uh, runway 13 at Alpha Taxi via Alpha. And then uh, you can host right there for your back taxi. All right, uh, runway 13 at Alpha Taxi via Alpha and hold short of runway 13. Bonanza Zero Tango Bravo. And Bonanza 70 Tango Bravo. I can also, also offer a runway 31 departure window 340 at 7 if you'd like to, uh, instead of taking runway 27, take the uh, intersection and back taxi on runway 31. Uh, Bonanza Zero Tango Bravo, um, negative, but I could back taxi on runway 31 for a little more length. Bonanza Seven Zero Tango Bravo, uh, Roger. Uh, you can expect a runway 31 departure, but still hold short runway 31 at Alpha. Bonanza Zero Tango Bravo, hold short runway 31 at Alpha. All right, one other thing I check here is synthetic vision. That's kind of my backup okay. instrument. Plus, I have the turn coordinator here, electrically driven. So we got air driven, electrically driven, plus this one here. All right, so we'll back taxi on runway 31. We'll make a normal takeoff on runway 31 here in Cedar Rapids. Anything we don't like, so we accelerate, door popping open, noise, vibration, engine indications that are not normal. Either of us can stay aboard, and we'll I'll pull the power and we'll roll out straight ahead if um switch the tower here if uh, we have a total power loss below 2000 feet indicated on the altimeter we'll just continue straight ahead into the wind you know that runway direction is a lot of open fields there and as we get a little higher we'll consider our options hey target fn is 3840s and uh wave them for two seconds Wisconsin 3840, Cedar Rapids, power runway 2713, 40 at 6, clear to land. Terminal at 27, Wisconsin 3840. Got more folks coming in. Yeah, I'd wave and maybe she'll let me go. The tower, Bonanza 7, Zero Tango Bravo, holding short of 31 here at Alpha, ready for back taxi. Bonanza 7, Zero Tango Bravo, turn right onto runway 31 at Alpha, back taxi is approved. Turn right onto runway 31 for back taxi, Bonanza Zero Tango Bravo. Bonanza 7 Zero Tango Bravo, traffic 5 mile final runway 27 as the regional jet. Approaching jail. runway 1331. Clear on the left, clear on the right, I'll turn my lights Enter on runway here. Runway 1314, turn right on Alpha 3 and hold short runway 31 at Alpha. Right on Alpha 3, hold short 31 on Alpha, we should get 5214. Approaching runway hey, zero suppose nine. suppose he's not going to let us out before that next arrival, so Entered take a little time zero here. Nine, seven, zero tango two Bravo. Seven. Continue crossing runway 27 on runway 31 and hold short runway 27 on uh, runway 131. Bonanza Zero Tango Bravo, Roger. Yeah, we'll uh, taxi all the way to the end here and, and hold short. She is expecting you to loop around and then hold, like, hold short right, right there. Is that what she was thinking? Hey, well, that's how she said it. I think yeah. she just wants to make sure I'm I'm going at least to the far side of 27 in my back taxi because of the landing traffic, which is about three miles out now. I can see him there. Clouds have lifted quite a bit. Oh. Bonanza 7 Zero Tango Bravo, ready for departure, 3-1. Bonanza 7 Zero Tango Bravo, Cedar Rapids Tower, runway 3-1, fly runway heading, clear for takeoff. Runway 3-1, runway heading, clear for takeoff, Bonanza 7 Zero Tango Bravo. Wisconsin 3840, turn right Alpha 3, and uh, taxi parking via Alpha, hold short, runway 3-1 and Alpha. Alright, takeoff power is set. Oil temperature and pressure is good. 
speeds alive. Positive rate, gear up. But you can really Texas feel that gear when it goes up. Echo, echo two, cross you, runway three one at Alpha. You can feel the drag go oh, away. Echo, yeah. echo two, cross three one at Alpha. But she could do two fourteen. All right, everything is working before we enter the clouds here. Bonanza seven zero Tango Bravo, contact departure. Contact departure, Bonanza seven zero Tango Bravo. Have a good day. I will cancel with you in order to advise reflection five twenty seven. Departure, good morning, Bonanza 7, Zero Tango Bravo, 1,500, climbing 5,000. Bonanza 7, Zero Tango Bravo, Cedar Rapids, departure radar contact, climb maintain at 9,000, turn to right direct Madison. Climb maintain 9,000, right turn direct Madison, Bonanza 7, Zero Tango Bravo. All right, direct, enter, enter. And at right turn. Layer already. All right, climb checklist. Here is up, climb power is set, maintain target EGT. That's where I keep my number six cylinder at 1300 degrees. I can already lean a little bit. This screen gives you a lot of data. Yes. We're with heat contact, the quad is approach on 125.95 today. Uh, and you can configure these data blocks, you know, it scrolls up and down, you can customize what is shown there, if you're liking. I can feel the sun getting a little stronger, oh. must be reaching the, the top of a layer. You can actually see the sun right there yeah. on my side. You notice there's water running back on the windshield here, yep. that's an important observation. Just when you reach the top of these cumuliform clouds is usually where they have the largest water drops. And where that can bite you is in the winter when you're fighting icing and you think, ah, oh, just, just another 500 feet and I'm out of it. You still have the worst of the icing coming up on those last few hundred feet. I see. Uh, there's that stratus layer. So it won't be quite the blue skies that I had hoped for. Yeah. Yeah, if we would have stopped here at 7,000, we would have really had no horizon, would we? Not much oh. to speak of, really. And we may not have any at 9,000 either. In bumpy here, this Put is... 7 Tango Bravo, contact Chicago Center, 133.9 or 5. 133.9 or 5, Bonanza 7 Zero Tango Bravo. Have a good day. Thank you, too. Chicago Center, good morning, Bonanza 7, Zero Tango Bravo, 8,500, climbing 9,000. 9, 7, Zero Tango Bravo, Chicago Center, welcome to Beacon, 2 9 2 9 2 2 9 2 thank you. Alright, level off at 9,000. Go to 2,400 on the propeller. really like them, uh, Turn knobs, those are pretty handy. Most wish my throttle had that at time. Can you get those? I'm sure I could get one, yeah. Just have to order it and put it on. It's so nice for fine control. And we'll lean a peek. I'll turn the autopilot on. All right, we got Monticello and gliding distance here. And with decent ceiling, I'm gonna switch to the right tank. Pressure remains good. Boost checklist. Bottle is wide open. Oops. Uh, 2400 RPM is set. Call flaps have been closed and we're lean at peak. Alright, 14 minutes in the air. We got another 35 minutes to go to Madison. Nope. 
Everything is looking good. The engine is happy. We're doing a little over 140 indicated. Uh, 168 over uh, over the ground. That's just a little bit of tailwind. I was expecting a little faster. Uh, what plane do you start listening to their ADIS and stuff? Is that you probably? Uh, I don't think we can much. receive it yet, but uh, you know, let's get the charts ready. The ADIS is 12465. not receiving that here. Actually, the other thing I'll do is turn in the emergency frequency. Well, when we see that one coming in, we'll, we'll start listening to it. Okay. Uh, but what do we know about Madison? AMSN. We know that the latest reported weather from 17 minutes ago was uh, wind variable at 4. Well, that doesn't allow us to make a guess for the runway yet. No. Overcast 700 feet. Hopefully maybe the ADIS will maybe clue us in. Once, once we listen to the ADIS, it will, yep. Well, that's, that's all we can do at this point. Our so one cello is now behind us. Pretty soon our next emergency field for a quick landing will be Dubuque followed by Platteville and Iowa County. And then there really isn't much between Iowa County or any, anything between Iowa County and uh, Madison. We have Middleton here, just short of Madison. We've got some really tall towers here, just south of Middleton, uh, that will certainly reach into the clouds today. So we gotta be careful there. Yep, for sure. Well, this is the part of the flight where we, the captain says, sit back, relax, and enjoy the flight. Yeah. Okay, now we can, on occasion, see the RX here. Each of the Avidyne IFDs has two radio receivers. It only has one transmitter, but uh, I don't have it wired like this yet, but you can wire it so that you can listen to both. So if you only have one of them, you still can listen to the ATIS, for example. Juliet, still light wind, variable, runways uh, 2 1 and 1 8 in use. Delta November 4 5 uniform, Delta 1800, climbing 5000. Just bad for us because it means they'll vector us all the way from the north. Be careful. It's interesting, you, this is marked AMS, but it's positioned at zero. It's yeah. strange to me. The, uh, the, the way that the ammeter works is uh, quite different from airplane to airplane. What this one shows is a charge or a discharge of the battery. Okay. So if it's hovering around zero, that tells us that the alternator is doing all the heavy lifting okay. and that the battery is just there as a buffer, which is how it's supposed to be. But if we were to see that you know, dip into the red here with lo larger uh, sustained negative numbers, that would be reason for concern. All right, we have overflown the airport of Dubuque, crossing the Mississippi now, as we well, could see if there was a gap in the clouds. We have 25 minutes to go to the airport, but once we lower the approach, that might be an extra 10 minutes on top of that. And we have plenty of fuel. I see this uh, upper layer is pretty much overcast for the most part, but okay. once you were to get through that, I do see openings to the ground. Uh, we have the ATIS, uh, Madison Approach 13545 will be next. I'll put this in my standby. I like that that was really easy to do. I know on mine I could punch a couple buttons, I could get into flight plan and get that, but it's a lot more button pushing than what you yeah. just did. But different ways to do that. I can just you know, push this and then say, okay, 35, 45, 
uh, or I can push the frequency button and I can select if you want it for, for an airport and route or recent history. So in this case, I want airport and Madison approach. It is 13545, so I'll put that in my standby. Yeah, 1850, Chicago Center, welcome flight 8210, climb maintain 16. I got this bird's eye view here. I'm not sure how, how so it is. I got the synthetic vision view. This one's pretty nice. I can add the data fields to it. Um, it makes a really nice backup in case my instrument pressure pump or mechanical gyro fails. But most of the time I have it here. It also, um, and then so like, well, maybe we'll need the 1.8. A little harder to read, but it makes a really nice backup. You can view different parts of it the whole thing. That's where I still find the iPad better. So a combination of, of this IFD for uh, all the stuff that I need certified avionics for and the iPad for everything else works really, really well. November 70 Tango Bravo contact, Madison approach 135.45, see you. Madison 134, oh, sorry, 135.45, Madison 0 Tango Bravo, thank you, have a good day. Madison approach, good morning, Bonanza 7 0 Tango Bravo, level 9000, Juliet. Zero Tango Bravo, Madison, approach, expect vectors for the, uh, uh, which approach would you like, uh, any approach, one eight or two one. Uh, Bonanza 7, Zero Tango Bravo, either one works, but if it's a toss, uh, one eight will be great. Zero Tango Bravo, expect, uh, did you want an ILS or an RNAV? Uh, we can take vectors to the ILS, Bonanza Zero Tango Bravo. Zero Tango Bravo, expect vectors, ILS, from my one eight, final approach course. Bonanza Zero Tango Bravo, roger. Okay, let's bring that chart up, we already have it. Yep. So that's easy. Uh, back just to final. Uh, let's do the setup here. So I'm going to hit procedure ILS 18. Um, and there, there are really no other fixes here that I need. Let's see what the choices are. Yeah, I'll, I'll use the back just to final option. 416 Charlie Mike, you're cleared from the Middleton Airport to the oh, it's giving me Airport via radar vector. Rookie, control rookie, base, flight heading three and inbound zero. from there. Maintain I haven't activated it yet. I'm still going direct Madison Airport, one, three, five, but we can see the uh, and final one, approach three, course here. Four, five. The clearance be void if not off by one five four five. And we need to tune the localizer one 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 point one. Sorry, 110 one. Uh, we're too far and in a poor angle to see that. We'll have to identify it later. That should read IDSC. Oh, let's memorize that. It'll, it'll show, just like on yours, it'll show up here in three letters once it's identified. Okay. And then we'll set the final approach course of 185 after we transition from you know, direct Madison to the heading that he gives us. Okay, so approach briefing. We have the chart up for Madison, Wisconsin for the ILS 18. That's the one we were told to expect. Uh, we have listened to the ADIS. We're already talking to approach. Uh, Madison Tower 19.3 will be next. I'll select. I'll select that from here. Uh, actually. Let me do that now, and then we'll get ground in there, 121.9. There we go, that completes our frequency set that we've got approach, tower, and ground. Uh, localizer is tuned, yet to be identified, final approach course 185. We slew that once we, uh, once we are off the current uh, direct GPS. Uh, final approach. Sorry, glide path, glide slope intercept should be at 2500. The uh, decision altitude will verify with the profile. 1064 is what we expect. And the missed approach published is climb to 2700. 
on the Edison VOR radio 180, so straight south to Mona intersection, which is just south of the airport, and hold there. And the GPS will help us with that. Okay. Don't have a terminal arrival area, we just have minimum safe altitude. Uh, we'll get back just to final, we'll, get, we'll follow the altitude assignments from ATC, really easy on this one. And once we intercept, it'll be just a straight in. These minimums for straight in ILS 1064, that's 200 AGL. We need half a mile visibility, which we have plenty of from the forecast, but we'll check it once we break out and confirm. Okay. Well, my only question was, so the Mr. Proach, do you load the VOR now then too, or would you? No, I rely on the GPS then. Uh, we'll switch to, to V-Log when the time comes. Okay. That's this button here. You know, I can turn that to V-Log. Gotcha. Uh, once I activate the approach, the GPS will do that automatically. Uh, but once we go miss, I just go back to GPS and we can find our way to Mona intersection more accurately that way. Okay. We are uh, 29 miles from the airport. We're doing 170 knots over the ground. That's pretty good tailwind. And as zero tango Bravo, turn left heading zero four zero, descend and maintain six thousand. Left heading zero four zero, leaving nine thousand, descending six thousand. Finance seventy tango Bravo. I don't have a, a rate of descent. I can control my pitch, attitude, and power, and that's pretty much how I I descend on the autopilot. You don't have an altitude bug of sorts, to be honest. That's uh, in my head. Okay, so we no longer need to be on course to um, uh, to Madison Airport. So when when they switch me from GPS direct airport to headings for vectors to final, that is when I go to V log, okay. and when I slew the final approach course, so 185. Okay. Uh, right now we're not receiving it, but we still have to identify it when we get to the north side of the airport. So I can activate the approach now. So we're now inbound to Rookie, as far as the GPS is concerned. Doesn't sound like uh, Madison is very busy today. No. See if I can uh, pull the approach from the panel. Yeah, there we go. It's given us the take this to final ILS when we want to eat. All right from here is a judgment call. You know, when do we start slowing down? We yeah. still have quite a few miles to go to the north side of the airport, that's why I haven't reduced yeah, power yet. But if you wanted to get more time to do things in a more relaxed way, you know, this could be a, a good time to reduce power a little bit. Well, that's what I'm wondering too. You still got 4,000 feet to lose too, so, I mean... Yeah, 3,000 to the assigned altitude of, yeah. uh, of 3,000. We're doing oh, not quite 500 a minute. Right, the, the flag just went off, so we might be seeing a Morse code here soon. Not showing it yet. Sand checklist. Here we have the weather and notice. Uh, left heading 360. Left heading 360, but you'll take a problem. Did complete the approach briefing. Uh, we have the nav and radio set up completely, except we need to identify the localizer. Cabin is secure. But well, we have it identified. IDSC, remember? Yep. IDSC here. Well, I would take a right turn now. Say it's all, almost taking you in what a normal procedure turn would have done for you. Yeah. You've gone the other way. Looks like. Pretty far out. Pretty far out for. It being way there. Oh, he's probably going to get Sky West in before us. Sky West 3926, turn left heading 090. Yeah, uh, he's putting right behind you. Yeah, okay. He's getting his base leg now. Alright, no need to go fast here. 
turn 1540, thank you. Bonanza 0 Tango Bravo, turn right heading 090. Right heading 090, Bonanza 0 Tango Bravo. See if we can raise Sky West on the way in. Like we just entered the tops there. We're on the right tank, we can stay on the right tank for landing. Sky West 39, 26, you're 5 miles from Rookie, turn right, heading 160, maintain 3000, still established on the old pleasure, cleared ILS from Ray 1 Air Approach. Turn right, heading 160, 3000, still established, cleared ILS from Ray 1 Coast, uh, 39, 26. Finance 0 Tango Bravo, you're 11 miles from Rookie, turn right, heading 160, maintain 3000, still established on the old pleasure, cleared ILS from Ray 1 Air Approach. 160, uh, 3000 till established, clear to ILS 1 8 approach. And it's a 70 thing problem. Sliver 4501, Madison departure, inner contact, climb and maintain 10000. It's really bizarre, but I would never guess we're in a right. Yeah, you can't tell. I mean, it's just crazy, isn't it? Alright, altitude hold was coming back on, the localizer is moving in. Sky was 3926, contact tower 119.3, have a good day. Sky was 3926. Freer 1540, sort of verified climate. And I'm going to hand fly from here. Bonanza 0 Tango Bravo, contact tower 119.3, have a good day. Uh, tower 119.3, Bonanza 0 Tango Bravo, have a good day as well. Tower, good morning, Bonanza 7 0 Tango Bravo on the ILS 18. Bonanza 7 0 Tango Bravo, Madison Tower, good morning, wind 2606, six, runway 18, clear to land. Runway 18, clear to land, Bonanza 7 0 Tango Bravo. Okay, device globe is, is available now. Okay, minimum is 1060. That's slopes moving. Now I'm keeping the localizer needle centered and this one upright. Fly heading 180, climb maintain 3000. In fact, even do this here. Uh, Peter Madison Airport uh, via runway heading, uh, sorry, heading 180. And uh, what was the altitude? 3000 for Skyway 3926. 3, okay, glide slope intercept. Gears coming down. Trains. <laughs> Yes, down and locked. Landing, landing lights on, mixture and rage gums short final. Yes, Skyway 3926, turn left, heading 090, and when you're able, say reason for going around. Left heading 090, and uh, long landing, Skyway 3926. Alright, I'm slightly left, slightly high, correcting. Skyway 3926, contact departure 120.1. 1000 to minimums. 20.1, Skyway Three mile final runway one eight. Gas, undercarriage, mixture, prop. I'm still high, I'm taking some power out. Tightly left, correcting to the right. Oh, we got ground, but no airport. Oh, yeah, port, that's very typical. <laughs> that's the airport. There it is. 500. Alright, three greens. Center line runway lighting really helps. Yeah, that. I keep it when you said keep that high Tango above zero, the pipes. Tango slope. Bravo, turn left at Bravo 4, contact ground point nine. Left at Bravo 4, ground point nine, open it says your Tango Bravo. Bravo 4, way down. 
An Alpha 4? A Bravo 4. Yeah, I'm just saying that. That's, that's not it. Approaching that's runway not it. Zero <laughs> 03. Entered runway 03. And I don't mess with the configuration until remaining. after we've left the runway. There's time for that. Yeah. I want to accidentally raise the gear. Ah, there it is. B4. Bravo 4. Switch to ground. Matt is in ground. Good morning. Bonanza 7, Zero Tango Bravo is on Bravo 4. Request taxi to the east ramp. Bonanza 7, Zero Tango Bravo, Matt is in ground. Taxi via Bravo Charlie, hold short of runway 14. Taxi via Bravo Charlie, hold short of runway 14. Bonanza 7, Zero Tango Bravo. Okay, so left turn on Bravo. And uh, after landing, lights back to beacon, all flaps open, flaps identified and up, back to three up. Bravo Charlie, hold short of one four. Oh, well, this is where we're at, doing a right. That's near point, Charlie. Kilos yep. current, okay. wind 280 at four, altimeter 29 or 9 or zero. I was saying on that final there, it just seemed like we were really, and you were right on the glide path. And you had it looked right higher. Two reds, yeah, it looked looked good. It just seemed like we were high. Of course, they're they're aiming you into like the touchdown zone, right? Which is quite a ways down the road. Right. I, you know, admittedly, I I was about a dot high all the way in. I uh, didn't make the the enough of a power reduction to descend to the glide slope. So we stayed a, a tad bit high, which you know, following a, a jet on the way in isn't a bad idea. <laughs> yeah. But uh, that's something I could have done better on, on this one. Okay, so Charlie is coming up. It's clear on the left, clear on the right. We still have to hold short of 1-4. Bonanza 0, Tango Bravo, cross runway 14, Mike 3, Mike to the east ramp. Cross runway 14, Mike runway 3 and Mike to the east ramp. Bonanza 0, Tango Bravo. Thank you, have a good day. Entered runway 14, 3, 2. Clear on the left, clear on the right, I'll turn the lights back on. This is Mike 3 and I will turn right on Mike. Lights off. Clear left, clear right. Quite a few airplanes. You must have a football game. Yeah, it could be. And I see a marshaller to the right. Oh, I get to park next to my lottery airplane. Yeah. What you got there, Pilatus? Yeah, PC-12. 